Uh, I thought I'd do a review of the Martin and Co LX1E, which is, I don't know if you can see that, uh, but it's, uh, it's the little Ed Sheeran signature model. Um, comes with a pickup, Fishman pickup, battery's running low. Um, and it's got a solid spruce top, it's not, um, it's not finished, uh, there's no coating, uh, comes with a mahogany, mahogany, a high pressure laminate back and sides, it just feels like plastic, it's kind of shitty. Um, the neck is, I don't know if you can see that, but it's, uh, lots of little bits of wood, little strips of wood glued together, um, it's got a full heel though. But this neck makes the um, makes the guitar very kind of neck heavy because the guitar body is so tiny. Um, when you're playing it, it feels like it wants to go that way, which is kind of annoying actually. I know the baby tailor um, it doesn't have the full heel. The baby tailor kind of cuts off there, um, but it feels a lot more balanced in your arms. Um, it has uh, the Martin. Machine heads, I don't know what kind of, can't remember. It's the same ones that M M M Mayton used to use before they went to Grover. Um, the fretboard is definitely not ebony. Don't know what it is. It's kind of just like some plastic. There's no inlays. You don't really need them. It's got the dots on the top. Um, but yeah, so uh, it's really durable. Um, with the factory, it comes with a bit of a high... Um, Action, that's the word that I'm looking for. Um, but yeah, I've knocked this thing bloody everywhere and uh, it's still going really strong. Um, it comes with a soft case. Uh, the soft case is actually really good. Um, it's a really solid soft case, but uh, I take it around quite a bit. So I bought a hard case for it. It was about 70 bucks Australian. Um, it's a really good hard case. Um, yeah, as for the pickup, the pickup's really not that great. Um, if you're using it with a lower end mixer, say for live music, uh, it kind of sounds like a fart. Um, it's just, it's really quacky and I don't know, it's just not great. Uh, if you have a really high end mixer, it actually sounds fantastic, but that's uh, like if you're just playing a small gig somewhere, it's gonna be kind of shitty for you. Um, yeah, so that's the pickup. The sound of the actual guitar is fantastic for such a tiny body. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know, it's gonna sound like crap with this microphone, but, um... Yeah, I don't know how it's gonna sound, uh, through the, uh, through the old microphone. Um, but yeah, it's a... It's a Mexican Martin, and um, for the price, it is, it's a fantastic buy if you can get this second hand, because these things can't go wrong. It's not, like the, the, the wood here, it's not gonna bend. Um, it's not like one block of wood, so that kind of makes it last longer. Um, this thing is extremely annoying to get a strap over. Um, this one's fantastic, um, but yeah, these bloody, I hate these. Like the straps are all too, it's too fat for a strap, so that's quite annoying, but you, if you had it one that fit, you could fit it on there. Um, the battery lasts forever in this thing, like I'm only running it, it's only running out now. I've replaced it once in like, I don't know how many years. Um, haven't had any issues with um, the neck bending, which is odd, because uh, uh, usually the Martin guitars in Australia have all kinds of issues. Um, this thing has no binding, so that's another fantastic thing because Martin uses this glue that just doesn't work in Australia. Um, the humidity and the kind of the dryness as well, <laughs> kind of it changes in Sydney, I don't know how to explain it. Um, but yeah, so I've got this Martin. I don't know if you can see it, this is a DC-16, like it just comes off all the time. Um, you can't really. uh, it doesn't happen to any of my other guitars. Maintenance doesn't happen. Um, 
fender like this bad boy it was a really shitty fender but um if you look there no, it's fine and um yeah i spoke to martin about it and they're like uh speak to your dealer um you not your dealer that's for cars speak to your uh import i don't know um and s about care conditions um and i was like well doesn't happen to any of my other guitars so uh thanks martin um you really got to sort out your glue if you want to import to this country um but yeah they're kind of fine there they're binding otherwise fantastic little budget guitar absolutely fantastic budget guitar um or a learning guitar if you wanted to learn it's got a little pickup as well so if you wanted to kind of get into gigs um, you need to upgrade that pretty quickly. Um, it's not the best. But for a tuner, fantastic tuner. Fantastic. Um, yeah, I don't really like the Fishman low end pickups. They're not that great. Yeah, thanks for listening.